Clip Drop is part improved reality app and part artificial intelligence. You can use your mobile's camera to snap a picture of a real world object, like an object's people, drawings, and text. The app scans the object, then digitalizes it. You then hold your device over your laptop, copy of Photoshop, then hit send. And is like that, you've introduced a real life object. Clip Drop even sets the object up with a non destructive layer mask so that you can make adjustments speedily and simply. Clip Drop is now available on Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Windows. You will have to install a program to your Mac or laptop, of course, but that originates with its benefits. You can take an image or text from the web, for example, and Clip Drop will robotically cut out background elements for you. Clip Drop also works with Google Docs, PowerPoint, Figma, Canva, and Pitch. Clipping text is free, and you can try a few a clips before you have to pay. If you find yourself taking pictures of objects to work into existing backdrops in Photoshop frequently, it may be worth the cost. Whether you are a student who wants to scan a few pages from your notebook for analysis just before an exam, or a student who wants to travel light nevertheless also read on the go, you may be looking for the correct scanner app to do the job. Here, VFlat scans your books quickly and stunningly, flattening the curved pages with the help of deep learning. No need to destroy your books any longer. Turn your bookshelf into an A-book library with this application. Don't be too upset this app will help you to create stunning scanner image from your book or magazine. B-flat is improving fast and many features could be added on your request. Typing on a phone can be an exercise in frustration. Tapping the keys with the index finger on your right or left hand can be slow and weighty. Using both of your thumbs can be closer. Nevertheless, the standard layouts on utmost virtual keyboards don't give themselves well to thumb typing. If you choose to type with your thumbs, then you may need to try a third-party keyboard for iOS and Android named TypeWise. TypeWise employs a circular, or hexangular, layout of keys. You can further rapidly access most keys on the keyboard and switch between lowercase and uppercase, letters and numbers, and alphanumerical characters and special characters. After the installation, you will essential to enable typewise. Open the app then follow the instruction. 
On an Android phone, go to settings then look for the setting for languages and input. Click the option to manage keyboards. Turn on the switch for typewise keyboard. The default typewise keyboard then appears with its hexagonal design. Start typing. Tapping the actual letters should be straightforward enough as typewise incorporates the standard QWERTY layout though in a hexagonal fashion. Nevertheless as you type with typewise, you will want to learn how to access punctuation symbols, uppercase letters, numbers, and special characters. The tutorial will help. But here are some tips as you type. 